Hi everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs. If this is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be creating these beautiful neutral Christmas decor. And as always, I'll be using Dollar Tree materials. So you know that these DIYs are going to be very, very inexpensive. But at the same time, very beautiful and very easy to make. I can't wait to show you how I put these together. So please keep watching. Before we get started, I'm just gonna ask that if you can please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon right there in the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first DIY, I'm going to start off with this glass vase that I purchased at Dollar Tree a while back. Now, I had DIY'd it and I had painted it and then I distressed it some. So I'm just going to reuse this jar that I've had or vase that I've had already for a while. And so all I'm going to do is just add some rope around it and then add some Christmas florals and it's going to be good to go. So I'm going to start with this decorative nautical rope and this is a new item from Dollar Tree. It's this white rope and I think it's really pretty. Okay, so all I'm going to do, like I said, is just wrap the rope around the top lid. But I do want to make it seem like it has handles and that's what I'm going to be doing with the rope. I'm just gonna pinch like about maybe an inch or so of the rope and then I'm gonna hot glue it onto the side and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the opposite side. I do have a video like I said when I DIY'd this vase. I'll go ahead and link it up above and also down below in case you want to see how I distressed this jar here or this vase. I like to repurpose my old DIYs when I can. And now all I'm gonna do is add these pine green mix and these are from Mainstay and they're 97 cents at Walmart. And now all I'm gonna do is just drop it in my vase. And then lastly, I'm also gonna use this willow branches from Dollar Tree. These are absolutely beautiful. I used them in another DIY and I just really love them. It gives you that wintry, look to them or like it has snow on the branches. It's very, very pretty. And then lastly, I added this really pretty snowflake from Dollar Tree. And the first DIY is complete. And now I have this beautiful arrangement for just a few dollars. For the second DIY, I'm going to use this clear plastic tray from Dollar Tree. Now you can find this where they have all the wedding materials. And once again, I'm also going to use this white decorative nautical rope. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cover the base of this tray with this white nautical rope. And I'm going to start in the center and I'm just going to start winding it around and around until I cover the bottom of the tray. Okay, so I do have to say that this tray didn't come out quite as I had expected because I didn't have enough rope, so I had to improvise and do some changes. I've started a new strand and I just wanted to show you up close how I was able to just put them together and it looks okay, it doesn't look so bad, but I just wanted you to see that I was going to start a new strand of rope. And so what happened was that I didn't have enough rope. I ran out. I actually used four of the nautical ropes that I had or the four bundles that I had. I had to improvise like I said. That is what happened and you're going to see later on what I did to it in order to finish it off because I did want to show this DIY because I thought it was pretty and cute. 
Okay, so now that I have this one big circle, um, I do have to finish off the ends because it is an oval shape. So I'm gonna have to fill in those areas. So I'm gonna have to cut some pieces, different sizes to fill those areas out. Okay, so I don't wanna make this DIY very long, but you get the picture. I'm just gonna go around the inside and cover the tray with a rope. Okay, so I'm done because I finished all the rope. Um, I am gonna go back and see if I can find some more and finish it off as I had planned. I'm gonna be using this Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral, and I'm gonna be using this on the side walls of my tray. Since I didn't have enough rope to cover it, I'm gonna have to paint it, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm only gonna give it one coat and then I'm gonna let it dry. And this is how it turned out with the paint. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some garland to the top of the tray. I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on this because I had mixed feelings about it, but I went ahead and I went with it. So uh, just comment down below and let me know what you think once this is complete. Okay, so I started by adding some hot glue there on the rim and then I just place my garland. And by the way, the garland is from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just gonna go all around the tray and cover it with the garland. Okay, so this is how it turned out with the green garland and I didn't really like it that much so I decided to flock the garland and that way it would kind of go with the inside color of the rope. And for that I'm going to be using some spackling from Dollar Tree and if you saw my previous videos where I um, did some wreaths, one of the wreaths I flocked it using the same technique. I'll go ahead and link that video up above and down below in case you want to take a look at that video. Okay, so all I'm doing is just adding some spackling to a pan and then I'm going to add some water. I added very little water. Um, I would say maybe a few tablespoons because really I just squirted it on there and then I started to mix it. So you want the consistency to be a little bit creamy. So I started by getting a little bit on my fingers and then just touching the garland, basically. I'm just touching and pinching as I'm going. And I really went heavy hand on this because I wanted it to look more white than anything. So that's what I'm gonna do is just add it all over the garland. Okay, so this is how it turned out and now I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours. Now I'm gonna decorate this DIY ornament from Dollar Tree because I do wanna add it to my tray. I'll be filling the ornament with this faux snow. And this is how it's looking so far. I didn't put that much snow. The next thing that I'm going to do is add the stickers from the Crafter Square collection.
And now I'm gonna add the ornament to my tray. And I'm also gonna add this other one from Dollar Tree, this really pretty silver one, and also a really pretty gold one. I love how these three look together. And that's it for this second DIY. For the third DIY, I'm going to be using a couple of these containers and they're from Dollar Tree. Now these you can also find in the wedding section. These are so pretty. I love the little stand that it comes with. Once again, I'm going to be using this Waverly chalk paint in the color Mineral. And all I'm going to do is paint the stand with that color. So I'll be giving it one coat and then I'm going to let it dry and then give it a second coat and I'll be doing the same thing to the other one. Okay, so the paint is dry and this is how it turned out. Next, I'm going to be adding these snowflake ornaments from Dollar Tree. And these come six pieces to a pack. Now what I'm going to do is hot glue them to the outside wall of the bowl. I'll be using all six snowflakes on each bowl. And this is how my first candle holder turned out and now I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. I'll also be using these gold vase fillers from Dollar Tree. So I went ahead and I added a candle and now I'm going to add the gold fillers. Now let me just warn you that you really need to use a flameless candle but I didn't have any on hand so I'm only using this regular candle just for demonstration. I'm also going to be using these gold branches and these are from Dollar Tree and I believe that they are new because I didn't see them last year. But I think they are so so beautiful so I'm going to be adding those into my candle holder. Because the vase is made out of plastic and everything inside that's why it's really important to use a flameless candle and not a real candle. I just want to stress that. And this DIY is complete and I'm absolutely in love with these candle holders. I think they look so, so beautiful. Let me know down below what you think. Now for this last DIY, I'm going to use four of these 5x7 picture frames and these are from Dollar Tree. Now I love these because I love the exterior. It looks like it's real rustic wood. I'm going to start by removing the insert and the glass and I'm going to put that aside. I will be using the glass. So I'm going to do that to all of these picture frames. Okay, so now that I have all my four frames ready, I'm going to start to glue them all together because what I'm going to create is going to be a lantern. Okay, so I'm going to start by first laying the first frame facing down. And then I'm going to take the other one and put it right along the edge of the frame and hot glue it. And then I'm going to follow the same steps to the other side. And then lastly, I'm going to take the last frame and lay it on top of the other two frames and hot glue it down. Okay, so now I'm going to add the glass back to the frames and I'm just going to put some hot glue all around the edge of the inside of the frame and then lay the glass down. So I made a mistake with this lantern. I should have first added the glass to the picture frame and then glued them all together. I don't know what I was thinking and I forgot about the glass. So anyhow, I'm doing it now. If you decide to do this project, please first put your glass in your picture frames and then glue all the picture frames together. 
Next, I'm going to be using the snowflake ornaments also from Dollar Tree and these come in a pack of six. So it's the larger snowflakes. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is just put some hot glue on the snowflake and then I'm going to place it right on the glass of the lantern. And I'm going to repeat the same steps to the other three glasses. And I'm done adding all the snowflakes and this is how it turned out. Next, I'm going to create a base for my lantern and I'm going to use the inserts from the picture frames. And I'll be using two of them. I'm going to remove the hardware and also the stand from them. I'm going to hot glue them together and then I'm going to add some duct tape over it. And now I'm going to place my lantern over it and I'm just going to outline where I need to cut. And now I'm just going to add some hot glue all around the edge of the picture frames and then I'll put my cardboard on top. And my lantern is now complete and all I have to do is just add my candle and the rest of the things that I wanted to decorate this lantern with. So I'm going to be using some cotton balls and what I'm going to do is just spread them apart and drop them into my lantern because I want it to look like snow. And for this lantern, I'm going to be using a flameless candle, the only one that I have. I'm also going to add these pine cones and some of this greenery. And the last DIY is complete. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel and I would really appreciate it. You have yourself a very blessed and safe day. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.